And everybody should know that's how love goes. It's good for the soul. Oh, I got a long way to go, but it won't stop the pain. No, no. That's the kind of thing that keeps me coming back again and again. Till I see your face. Strong feeling of displeasure or hostility. And somebody forgot to tell Mr. Webster about the other stuff that goes along with it. The arguments, the crying, the saying I'm sorry and accepting when people say they're sorry. I'm finding out that with friends and family, that's the really hard part. So I'm trying really hard not to be angry. But ever since I got picked up by the police a few weeks back, everybody around here has been treating me like I'm Suge Knight or something. Hey, can you teach a partner to the science table? Oh, I thought your dad didn't want you hanging around. Oh, that's ancient history. He's over it. Come on, you know we'll blow everyone away. Come on. No, thanks. Oh, and uh, tell your dad I said hi. Yes, you are a little. Hey, do me a favor. Would you call my heart rat for me? Thank you so much. Well, it looks like I have to reschedule my period, huh? Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I forgot to call you. I I've been crazy all day long. Mrs. Yeah. Van Adams? Yes. May I have a moment? I'm um, sorry. I wish I could help you, but I can't take any more walk-ins today. I'm, I'm with the IRS. Okay. Well, come into my office then. Um, I'll be right back, okay? You may want to do this in private. Oh, no, no, no. We can talk in front of my sister. What can I do for you? I'm here to inform you that Cut It Up is being audited. What? What? Are you serious? We're going to need you to come down to the office in two weeks with these items. May I ask why you're giving my sister such personal attention? Excuse me? Hand delivering an audit to such a small business? That's not IRS protocol. Normally, a business is allowed up to six weeks to prepare for an audit. Not in this case. Well, why not? Like I said, not in this case. You know what? I'm sure we can clear this up right now because I keep a, a record of all the shop's returns right here. So we're going to need more than just returns. It's all spelled out in the letter. If you have any questions, just call me. My card's in there. Terry, what am I supposed to do? What am I going to do? Hey, first of all, don't panic, okay? I have a friend at the IRS. Well, what does she mean? We don't need more. More things like what? I don't know. Let me see her card. Before we get started, I've got the permission slips for this year's student exchange program. Anyone interested? Uh, every year we do this stupid exchange program. It's pretty much just a chance to go to some other school and make Lakeside look good. Yeah, they can miss me with all that. Who are we exchanging with this year? Zora Hurston High School. It's a magnet school on the south side. Also now, because it's on the south side, no one wants to go. Man, who are these people? I gotta get out of this place. Even if it is only for two days. Yeah. <laughs> All right, brother. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, give me a second, man. I know I got you here somewhere. Actually, I need to talk to you about something. You got a minute? Sure, what's up? All right. 
Well, Kenny, I just wanted to say thank you for hooking me up with a job here. When no one else would hire me, you did. I'll always be grateful for that. Oh, man, no thanks necessary. No, 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 I, I mean it. I mean, you always have my back, Kenny, and I'm not going to forget it. What are we talking about here, man? I need to give you my two weeks' notice. Oh. Well, I knew that this was going to happen sooner or later. So you, uh, you got something else lined up? Yep. Mm -hmm. Baron gave me this big promotion, and I cannot afford to pass up this opportunity. No, you sure can. I mean, you got to do your thing, right? Yep, that's right. You know, for a second there, I thought you were going to say that this has something to do with that shady cat who's been coming around here to see you. Oh, it's not even like that, Kenny. I don't... Hey, hey, you don't have to convince me. I mean, I got your back, right? Remember? So who is he anyway? This is one of Barron's guys. We had to, you know, handle some business that couldn't wait, which is why I needed to give you notice. I mean, I can't keep spreading myself between two jobs like this. Uh, guess there's nothing else to say, but congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna miss you around here, man. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, me too. Me too. Good, good. Oh, hold on. Chad, what are you doing? Oh, hey, baby. Yeah. Say what? You're not gonna answer that? No, it's probably just Marcus again. Marcus? Isn't that the guy you went out with the other night? Yeah. What happened to what's his name? Jordan? Uh, well, he's a baby. I had to let him go. Oh. National Overnight Express has been very good to you. Look, it's not funny, Bird. He got pissed off and came to my house and cussed me out. Mm. Then he had his route changed. Like, hey. Well, maybe you'll hold out a little longer before hitting these guys with your good stuff. Mm. I'm done with men for a while. I have too much work to catch up on. <gasps> hey, Lem. What's going on? Babe, the shop is being audited. What? I told you stop trying to cook the no, books. Honey, this is serious. Here we go. First, this is my last box, and I'm going home. Hey, honey. Hey. Is he still here? Yeah, he's in the dining room with the kids. Said he wasn't leaving until he got a chance to talk to you. And he still hasn't said what he wants. I can't get anything out of him. Okay. What's up, Dad? Hey, I'm on. Hey, Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> hey. What's the deal? You can't show your brother no love, huh? Wow. Come on. <laughs> it's been too long. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, how's your wife doing? Oh, well, that's, that's, a, that's a long story, man. Let's just say, for better or worse, turned out to be a lot worse than I thought. Yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, you know, not everyone can be as blessed as you and Kenny are. <laughs> well. Hey, uh, Maxine, would you mind excusing us for a minute? Okay. Um, okay. Calvin, are you going to stay for dinner? Well, I appreciate the offer, Maxine, but I don't think so. Ahmad, you and Brooke, come help me in the kitchen. Come on, Mom. Have a seat. It's gonna sound kind of wild, Kenny, but, you know, I wouldn't be here if the situation wasn't desperate. Hey, look, man, if you're gonna ask for money, I don't have it. <laughs> I don't need your money. No. Uh, it's about Mom. She's sick. Leukemia. And she needs a bone marrow donor. Okay, I've been tested. I even talked Pop into getting tested. Neither one of us is a match. Well, I knew this was going to be tough, but I was hoping for a little bit more reaction than that. Well, I still haven't heard you say why you're here. Well, then you ain't been listening, Kenny. We need you to take the test. A blood relative is our best shot. I mean, come on, man, all right? I didn't come all the way here from Detroit to stir up some old shit between you and Mama. I'm just asking you to take a simple test. Think about it. I mean, what's there to think about? She's your mother. No, she's your mother. Oh, come on. 
Look, I haven't seen or talked to this woman in I don't know how long. Look, now I said I'll think about it. That's the best that I can do for right now. Your kids are amazing, man. <laughs> yes, they are. You know, I don't get to see my daughter that often, but uh, well, that's life, right? You know, I think I'll take Maxine up on that dinner offer after. Here you go. All the last year's weekly schedules. No, babe, you're supposed to be looking for the box mark weekly reports, not the schedules. Hey, man, we've been through every inch of this house at least twice. I don't think you have that one, Bert. Well, Lem, it's got to be here somewhere. Okay, it didn't just grow legs and walk away. Where? Terry needs those files by tomorrow. If we don't find them, they could come and put a lien on the house. Or freeze our bank accounts or shut down the shop. All right, baby, calm down. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, I worked way too hard to try to bill cut it up to have them come and just take it away from me. I know. Look, I put some of the boxes in the garage when we cleaned out the attic, remember? Maybe we misplaced some of, of your files in there. All right, all right, I forgot about those. Well, I'll go check on them, all right? Okay. Thank you. We'll find it. Uncle Kelvin doesn't come around much. He's cool, so I'm always happy when he does. But all I could think about was getting into the student exchange program and out of Lakeside Prep. There was just one thing standing in the way. Mom. I don't see what the big deal is. It's only for two days. Yeah, two days at a school where they had a shooting just last month. That wasn't at school. Somebody just robbed the store around the corner from there. Oh, somebody just robbed a store. Oh, now I feel a whole lot better. Well, baby, maybe we should think about this. I mean, the exchange program might be a good way to get back in Lakeside Press' favor. Well, he shouldn't have to, Kenny. He didn't do anything wrong. Well, that's not what I'm saying. Now, we're sending him to the school to take advantage of the opportunities, right? Well, this is one of them. Sounds like an opportunity for you to get jacked for your little Nikes. Uh, it's not like that, Uncle Kelvin. I mean, Zora Hurston is a magnet school. You can call it a magnet school all you want, but I'm with your mama. You need to stay right where you are, surrounded by all them little white kids. Kelvin. Now, look, my wife and I can handle this, okay? And, baby, like we were discussing before, we need to start letting Lamar live his life. I mean, it's not like this school is Vietnam, right? <laughs> okay, fine. He can go. Yes. But I will be there to pick you up and drop you off every day. Deal? Deal. I'll go do the dishes. Money. He, he can't find a donor, so he wants me to take the test to see if I'm a match. What'd you tell him? Told him I'd think about it. You know, when my mother was sick, there was nothing in the world I wouldn't have done for her. Well, not everyone can have a mother like you had, Maxine. That's not what I'm saying, honey, and you know that. The fact that your mother could possibly die should be enough to make you set aside your problems with her. Look, I, I know you're trying to help, baby. But let's just drop it and try to enjoy the rest of the evening, okay?
right back. What do you want? Oh, you know it's been a while, and apparently we need to work on our communication. Well, there hasn't been anything to tell. Well, that's maybe because you haven't been looking hard enough. You see, rumors have it that Brian's laundering money through that multiplex he's building. Well, I don't know anything about that. And neither do you, or else you would have had him arrested by now. <laughs> well, you see, that's where you come in. I'm not going to help you trump up some false charges against Barron. <laughs> well, you're not smart enough to do that. But what you can do is bring me his business practices. I want to see his accounting records, his donors list, everything. He keeps all that stuff locked in his safe. Well, why don't you just look at it as a challenge? Something to take your mind off your wife's audit. Mm-hmm. You're behind that? Hey, you know, I'm gonna have the RS so deep in that girl's ass, she's gonna be shitting W-2s. I told... I told you I cooperate. Now, you don't have to mess with my wife. <laughs> After I shut down that hair salon, I'm gonna take your brother-in-law's business and everybody else that means something to you will be next on my list until I get what I need from you. I'll get your records, but you gotta stop coming around here and call off the audit. I do not want my family involved in this. <laughs> Thanks to you, they already are. I'll be back in a little while. I'll hold it down. Stand in town. That depends on you. <laughs> the doctors have been looking for a donor for almost seven months. Sometimes the search can take years, but they don't know how much time she has. Sorry to hear that. You don't sound too convincing. Well, I haven't seen the woman in over 20 years. I mean, she's a stranger to me. And that's the way she wanted it. What was it, like a year before you guys moved away? Are you still stuck on that? Yeah, I'm still stuck on that. She tried, Kenny. You were the one that turned your back on her. Damn it, but then she should have tried harder. My mother left me, Kelvin. A mother. Do you have any idea how that made me feel? Hell yeah, I know how that feels. I lost my father, but you don't hear me bitching about it every chance I get. Come on, man, we talked about this. You know, when Mom and Pop split, they were struggling. And neither one could afford to take both of us. But she took you. Oh, man. So I'm just giving her exactly what she wanted, a life without me in it. Look, the odds of any two people being a perfect match are like 1 in 20,000. So you take the test. If you're not a match, you're off the hook. I'd love to help, but I can't. Then why are you here, Kenny? Hmm? That woman gave you life. The least you can do is take one test. Just get the fuck out.
this is what I'm talking about. Lakeside Prep was never as tight as this. But the honeys are fine. Plus, you don't have to wear a corny uniform. Damn. What is she doing here? Hey, Amon! Over here! Hey, Kelly. Hey, what's up? This is our chaperone, Miss Davis. Hi. Where's your uniform? Oh, I thought Zora here's the kids didn't have to wear uniforms. They don't. Exchange students do. Oh. That's better. Now let's go. Yeah, just go ahead and kill me. Uh, so, why didn't you tell me you signed up? Oh, it was last minute. When my dad found out how good this would look on my transcripts, he practically begged me to come. So now all of a sudden her father wants her transcript to sign and I'm supposed to be her walking ghetto pass? It's not happening. I'm shaking her as soon as I get a chance. Oh, cool, my man Andre's here from around my way. We went head to head on a hardcore all last summer. Hey, what's up, Andre? What's going on, OJ? What's his problem? Yo, it's me and Ma. Remember we used to play basketball? I know who you are. What's up for the tux? You saw Ben today? <laughs> oh, so this is what I get for whooping his ass in basketball. Let's start the class, you two. Hey, this is a bad time. I just wanted um, to apologize for the stuff I said earlier, okay? I know that you have a legitimate beef with mom, and I'm not trying to ignore that. Why, well, do you want some coffee? No, no, thanks. But I, I would like you <clears throat> to take a look at something for me. Well, what is it? Just some information on the donor process. You're not going to give up, are you? No, no, I'm not. Okay, I was just kind of hoping that that, that if you if you wouldn't do it for her, then maybe you'd do it for me. Hmm? Uh, one in twenty thousand, huh? Yeah. Take the test. You stubborn bastard. I knew, I knew you'd come around sooner or later. Wait a minute. Uh, I don't want to mislead you, Kelvin. All right, now, I need to take this thing one step at a time, you know, and I'm not coming around to anything. I just, uh, I'm doing this. All right, uh, I'm doing this for you. Okay, because I, I know if I had a mother, I, had, I would fight just as hard to try to save her, so, you know, I, I respect that. I, uh, did some checking. Seems like St. Luke's is the best place in town. St. Luke's? Yes. You make the appointment? Let me know when it is, and I'll roll with you, all right? You roll with me? Yes. Yeah, okay, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do that. you coming home to me.
Listen, I want to ask you something. Okay. And please don't lie to me or tell me nobody. What's going on, Bert? Who is this guy you were arguing with at work today? Damn. What did Kenny say? Just that some crazy-looking guy keeps coming around. You know, can't I do anything without Kenny being all in my business? Every time I take a shit, he has to tell Maxine so Maxine can tell you. Look, I just need to know the truth. Okay, I got enough pressure on me with, with this audit. And now... Burr, the guy Kenny saw me talking to was one of Barron's drivers. He messed up a big delivery, so I had to tell him about himself. Really? Really, Burr. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. That's why I gotta get away from Chad Waytoin. Devote more time to working for Baron. All these screw-ups like this won't keep happening. I understand. I just, you know... I, ever since I found that money, I've, I've been feeling like I have to ask all those same old questions. You can ask me anything you want. There's nothing going on. I promise. You trust me, don't you? Of course I do. All right. gonna be you a baron. It's your choice, Lady Who was this guy you were arguing with at work today? I thought you were gonna say that this had something to do with that shape. Catherine's been coming around here to see you. You trust me, don't you? Of course I do. Hospital started giving out other people's test results. Since I walked in and I said I was you, you know they think we all look alike, right? Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Why don't you just go ahead and do me a favor and save all the drama? If you want to quit, go right ahead. Why'd you hire me, Kenny? Was I here this whole time just so you could keep your eye on me? You know, the way I see it, Lamb, you have given the whole family plenty of reasons to keep an eye on you. jacket cost? I mean, was a little patch extra? <laughs> I'm a word out of this guy and the ass whooping on the court won't be the only kind he gets from me. I can't 
can't believe I actually volunteered for this. Someone should have warned me that being a Lakeside Prep student just isn't cool around here. But it figures that Soul Sister number one would fit right in. Who's that? Hey, I've been looking for you. This, uh, this is Tasha, Stephanie, and Lisa. Guys, this is Amada. Hi. 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 How are you liking Zora Hurston so far? Oh, I love it. You know, I wish I could stay all week. I hear Lakeside Prep's tough. Well, that's okay. But you know, Zora Hurston's not a joke either. Callie was telling me that you guys have a lot of classes together. Oh, us? Yeah. Not really. Yeah, right, Amad. We practically live at the library. Oh. Oh, well, actually, I usually study at home with my boys. Okay, well, maybe we'll see you later. Okay. Come on, let's go. Okay, what's your problem, Ahmad? You have been treating me like a stranger ever since we got here. Well, now you know what it feels like. I mean, after I got roughed up by the police, you act like you couldn't be seen around me. It's crazy. Ahmad, that's not even what we're talking about. Look, if you're too ashamed to hang out with me in front of black people, just admit it. Look, I'm not ashamed of anything. I think you are. What? I mean, did you think that your triple five soul jersey was going to get you down with the homies? I'm not. You're a lot more like me than you're like these Zora Hurston students. Explain that to your boys. Cal. What? I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't treat you different. I know. And why are you trying to act like you don't know me? Like, it's not you. It's just that ever since that whole police thing, I feel like I don't fit in. Oh, anyways, whatever's going on with me, I shouldn't take it out on you. No, you shouldn't. Dang, girl, I'm trying to apologize. Well, you're not doing a very good job of it, are you? Well, thanks. You're welcome. Here, carrying my books might help you. Typical female. Ahmad, come help your mom set the table, please. Hello? Oh, hey, Kelvin. Hold on a second. Can I have him call you back? Okay. Bye. It's the third time he's called tonight, Kenny. Well, let him call. I told him I'd take the test and undid. Well, Kenny, why would you even take the test if you weren't going to follow through? He keeps calling because you got his hopes up. So now what? So now he can take his ass back to Detroit. Sweetheart. Okay, maybe it isn't fair that you've been put in this position. But I know you, Kenny. And your heart is bigger than this. Maxine, you never even met the woman. You're right. But I've tried reaching out to her, and just because she's never responded, it doesn't change the fact that she brought you into this world, babe. And if she never had you, I wouldn't have you. I was on the internet today at work, and I did some reading about the whole bone marrow donation thing. The whole process only takes two hours, and you're up and about in a couple of days. Look, I don't need anybody doing research for me, and I damn sure don't need the guilt trip. Dad's been telling me to get past my anger. Too bad he can't take his own advice. Why do you hate your mother? It's complicated, Ahmad. I'll talk to you about it when you get older. Whenever you and Mom don't want to tell me something, you say I understand it when I get older. I mean, how old do I have to be? split, my mother left me with my father. Now, my father, well, he was a good man, but he was a hard man. And I never had the type of mother that you have. 
Because your mother loves you more than anything in this world. <laughs> and I don't know how that type of unconditional love feels. I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you. I think I do. Good. So does that mean you'll be mad if I wanted to donate my bone marrow? You know, because I was just thinking, I have one grandmother left. And I hate to lose her before I even get a chance to know her. And if giving up a part of my body will help save her, I want to do it. I'm sure she'd appreciate that. But doctors won't take people your age as donors. Well, what else can I do? I don't know. I don't know. Son, I'll be down to have dinner in a bit, okay? something for me? Now, I have a 9 o'clock meeting with Baron in his office tomorrow morning. Those discs have to be back at least an hour before that. You get them. No, no, no. I'm serious. If those discs aren't back and Baron finds out, that's my ass. Then I'll see you at 8 o'clock. Mind if I eat the peach? <laughs> oh, let me out. Quitting Chadway towing is not going to keep me from getting to your brother in law if I want to. Maybe not, but it'll keep you from coming around every other day. It's a, a two-hour procedure. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll do it. That's great, Kenny. That's great. Come on in. Hey, hey, no. No, thanks, man. That's all right. I've... Let you get some sleep. All right, well, I'll pick you up early. We'll be in Detroit by the afternoon. Yeah. I told Ahmad he can come, too. All right, thank you. Uh, you should thank your nephew. Tell me what you see. Nothing. It looks fine to me. <laughs> Not just fine, young blood. Uh, construction's a full week ahead of schedule. Well, that's great. That'll save you a couple hundred thousand dollars. More like a half a mil. We keep up this pace, I'll be a happy man. Numbers don't lie. Let me show you. Baron, there's something I need to talk to you about. FBI! Freeze! Hey, let me see your ass! What's up, man? What's up? What, who the hell are you? What's up, man? Come on, just a 
Marks, I have a warrant to search the premises. You motherfuckers have got to be kidding. You, got you better start got talking, him. boy, before I slap all the taste out of your mouth. Uh, Barry, let me sit. Let me sit. Man, he needs to sit down. Man, he's got to sit down. Damn, does every black man in America have a ball here? <laughs> Where did she get all these? From Maxine. Yeah, she sends a bunch every so often. You didn't know? Now listen, I'm gonna grab the bags and then we can head over to the hospital, all right? So your boy lawyered up real quick. I hope he told him that he almost fainted. Are you trying to get me killed busting in like that? You better calm down, my boy. And be thankful that I didn't leave you hanging out there. You know something? There's some good fish. What took you so long? Well, you'd think the FBI could crack a simple copy protection code, huh? Oh, I get it. You get your diss and I get arrested. Well, there won't be any record that you ever had. So what about Barrett? What about him? I got you what you wanted. Now you got to call off Bert's audit. Don't get confused, Lemmy. I ain't going to do nothing I don't want to do. All you do is uh, you step by the phone, and I'll let you know if there's anything else I need. Someone's here to see you. Okay. So, how are you feeling? I'm fine. I'll feel a lot better once I get out of this hospital. This is Amar. Come here. I hear you're the smart one in the family. <laughs> hey, come on, let's, let's see if we can find some food in this place, all right? Okay. I'll bring him back later. Veronica, of all the people, you'd be the one to match. I always say God has a fantastic sense of humor. Maybe it's his way of bringing us back together. Uh, I'm gonna go get ready.
Are you okay? Feds came back, went over the whole place with a fine tooth comb. They miss a thing. I just came by to see how you're doing. Probably got the whole place bugged. Do you need anything? Just time. Just need some time right now. All right. Call. Guess what? The audit is off. They had the wrong hair salon. Mm, that's great, babe. Yeah. You know, I was getting so worried. Look, now you don't have to. No, I don't. How was your day? Oh, uh, couldn't have turned out better. Yeah? Mm. 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 Must be good, huh? The strange thing about anger is that it could come out in all sorts of ways. The whole family knew my Aunt Terry was still angry at Damon, but she tried not to let it show. But deep down, I had a feeling that the anger was going to come to the surface one way or another. Well, you know, I won't pay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. You did. Come here, sit down. What's the matter? Well, I don't know what to call you. I guess we'll just have to figure something out. Why don't you start with Grandma for now? Okay. What's your favorite subject? Matt. The other thing about anger is that it comes and goes. Sometimes it takes a day or two, sometimes it takes years. But once you get past it, it opens all kinds of doors. There's a 